Oh, this is complex numbers and it's conjugate. Okay, so a complex number is a plus bi. And it's conjugate is a minus bi. So all we're going to do, whenever we have a complex conjugate, you're going to change the sign of the imaginary part. Okay, so here we got negative 3 minus 4i. The conjugate is negative 3 plus 4i. 5i, that is imaginary, so we're going to change it to negative 5i. That's our conjugate. Uh, we have 4 minus i, so the conjugate is 4 plus i. 1 plus i, the conjugate is 1 minus i. All you're doing is changing the sign of the imaginary part. So here, multiply each complex number by its conjugate. So the conjugate of negative 3i is positive 3i. Multiply, that's going to be negative 9i squared. Right? Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. i times i is i squared. But what's i squared do to that negative 9? It makes it positive. 4 minus i, 4 plus i, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times i is plus 4i, then the inside is minus 4i, and the outside is plus i squared, I'm sorry, minus i squared, mistake there. 4 i's cancel, you get 16 minus i squared, that minus i squared turns into a plus 1, so it's 17. Alright, same again here. Negative 5 plus 2i, so it's negative 5 minus 2i. Okay, I'm going to do a real quick shortcut here. So this only works when you multiply with the conjugate. I'm going to teach you a shortcut that only works when you multiply with the conjugate. Negative 5 times negative 5, positive 25. Positive 2i times negative 2i is going to be plus, I'm sorry, minus 4i squared, but remember what the i squared does, it turns into a plus, so it's plus 4. So you can just do square the first term, plus square the second term, forget the i, just make it a plus. So you get 29. See? This will work the same way. 4 squared is 16, uh, 1 squared is 1, and make it a plus, plus 17. That always works, but it only works when you multiply with the conjugate. And that's it.